Hello friends. Welcome to my new spring interview questions and answers series video. In this series, we will discuss spring top interview questions and answers. Let's move ahead. Today, we will discuss about most frequently asked spring interview question as. Explain bean life cycle in spring framework. Friends. Life cycle of spring bean has various stages. The figure depicts various stages of spring bean's life cycle. Number 1, instantiation. Inversion of control container will look for the configuration XML or annotations of defined beans. After finding bean definition container will create the instance of bean. Thus, bean instantiation happens in this stage. Moving ahead. Number 2, properties injection. After creation of bean instance, dependencies of that bean will be injected through dependency injection. If bean class implements any of the below interface then corresponding method will be invoked. Number 3, set bean name method of bean name aware interface. If a bean has implemented bean name aware interface, it has to provide implementation for method set bean name. It sets the name of the bean in the bean factory that created this bean. Moving ahead. Number 4, set bean class loader method of bean class loader aware interface. If a bean has implemented bean class loader aware interface, it has to provide implementation for method set bean class loader. This method will be called by passing an instance of the class loader object that loaded this bean. Moving ahead. Number 5, set bean factory method of bean factory aware interface. If a bean has implemented bean factory aware interface, it has to provide implementation for method set bean factory. This method will be called by passing an instance of bean factory object. Moving ahead. Number 6, post process before initialization method of bean post processor interface. If a bean has implemented bean post processor interface, it has to provide implementation for method post process before initialization. This method will be called on the given new bean instance before any bean initialization callbacks. Moving ahead. Number 7, after properties set method of initializing bean interface. If a bean has implemented initializing bean interface, it has to provide implementation for method after properties set. This method will be called by bean factory after it has set all bean properties. Moving ahead. Number 8, custom init method defined via init method attribute in spring XML. If a bean is defined in spring configuration with a init method attribute, then custom initialization method will be called. Moving ahead. Number 9, post process after initialization method of bean post processor interface. If a bean has implemented bean post processor interface, it has to provide implementation for method post process after initialization. This method will be called on the given new bean instance after bean initialization. Moving ahead. Number 10, destroy method of disposable bean interface. If a bean has implemented disposable bean interface, it has to provide implementation for method destroy. This method will be called when the application no longer needs the bean reference. Moving ahead. Number 11, Custom destroy method defined via destroy method attribute in spring XML. If a bean is defined in spring configuration with a destroy method attribute, then custom destroy method will be called, when the application no longer needs the bean reference. This concept of spring beans life cycle has been asked frequently in spring interviews. So friends, go through this video two to three times so that, spring bean life cycle concept gets more clear to you. Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.